Oh, my Lord, we are always honored here in the guard to have your presence. I am so pleased that you have come to see how we train. Now that we are held up for the winter, it was minus seven today. We are here on board, training as always, being prepared for next year's campaign. <laughs> it will be a wonderful time, I know. I can guarantee you at least 1,000 men this year, my lord. It's an honor to serve you. Now let's continue on with our program. <laughs> Sit back, my lord. We will show you the way. We will give you the world. <laughs> I'll be back in a minute, my lord. And of course, it really helps if you have a trainer. Uh, and here's my trainer here at full speed ahead. Once the letters are pounded into place, isn't it great to have a friend? But Rick won't know if yep, we train together quite regularly, the actually. <laughs> okay, I'll be back in a minute. Have fun. Okay, my friends, so... One of the things that you uh, need to do or will really help you... Most of the impurities have separated from the steel and been absorbed by the sand and glass that fall off with the crucible. Seems like we have a good ingot. Let's see if we can turn it into a good It's Ulfberg a good thing to plate. work out. Gives you extra strength. This single piece of steel will make the entire even better. blade. Okay. So the absence of light like uh, suggests she's created slag free. I just work out at any time. Steel. You know, I'm walking down the hall, I'll use But my the artistry comes in stuff. I do my carbon rich uh, some work, let's say. This and part, then this maybe initial I just breakdown. Going this, along again, uh, and I'll get down and do some be very setups. Gentle with it. Or it's in this fresh. case, I just picked up my crusher. Crucible and did that. steel is different. That's all you have to do. Because it's as just, it cools, uh, the iron work atoms out. form interlocking you know, If you don't have time structures. to stop and go to the gym for three hours, then just work out anyhow. Anyhow, back in a minute. We'll do some the more. Carbon and crucible steel produces nearly 100 It's good to be able to control your hands, here. you know. So these are little springs. One out of five cars in the world contains its metal. In the modern steel world, we try to, to count, so not talking, customize the little springs the for steel and crushers. For the they will give you extra strength. And that will so help you to hold your bow on, hold it still, which are hold it like it's in a vice. For some applications, but not for others. The Vikings, in their day, I'm sure, Control got the hardness on right the surface arm of the sword. The most important thing so in archery. Easily. They would want the sword, however, not to shatter or break. This will help it. control your right hand. If I'm stuck in the shield, they want to be able to extract it without so you it breaking do. or twisting or bending. And they want it to be able to keep its edge. To choose the okay, best that's all you for do. a particular application. After a while, you'll get stronger. As the weeks go by, the months go by. The capacity of and you'll be able to shoot better. To withstand yeah, stress. Right. Okay, my friends, so rather than having a great big, you know, special ways of doing exercise, one of the most important things to remember is simply keep moving. It's not so important that you do just curls or, you know, work on this or work on that part of your body. Just keep moving. It's really important. It doesn't have to be a big deal. You can move slow, still be exercising. You have to have, have a goal if you want to get old. But, uh, you know, that's all you got to do. I'm just working on my waist right now is what I'm really doing. I'm just twisting these muscles on the side. You know, I'm not abusing myself, I'm not forcing myself, I'm not really knocking myself out. But I'll do this, and I'll do it again, and I'll do it again, and I'll do it tomorrow, and I'll do it the next day. And uh, eventually you get in shape. 
Just keep and moving. From the intangible value of its name. We're at the point now. Diet's where we very do important, the also. For the cutting of the you know, for the, the name. cookies and chocolate bars, uh, jelly beans. They don't really make it. We've got the cross. Meat U-L-L-D-E potatoes. E is more That's or pretty good. R-H Fruit. Cross T. My ancestors ate fish. Like his Meat. mysterious predecessor a thousand years Roots. ago, Rick's taking a Lots chance of berries. by berries. Milk, eggs, that kind of stuff. There is some argument that the cuts actually weaken the blade. So if I do this wrong, I'll have to start over. Being a vegetarian doesn't really, really help me out very much. That's one. You know? I tried being a vegetarian one time, well, for, I don't know, close to three years. I almost started to death. I lost a lot of weight. You know, I, I wasn't doing it like uh, I had a dietician feeding me, <laughs> you know. But uh, anyhow, I was going along with the Danforth one day, and uh, I was really... Uh, half crazy uh, this is one of the from hunger, I suppose, and you know your hands sweat all the time and stuff like that. Right. Anyhow, this Greek restaurant was having souvlaki, so I went and got one. You know, I hadn't eaten meat in about three years, so I'll carve it <laughs> and uh, I ate down this uh, and then we'll inset this the lamb, twisted iron with a little bit of bread, a little bit of lettuce, a bit of cheese on it. You know, the souvlaki. But it was meat. The fact that they I'll tell you something. Within 10 minutes, my hands stopped sweating, and I felt better. I didn't feel crazy. I felt great. I eat meat. I eat meat, you know. That's what I do. Yeah. So there's a lot that goes into it. I'm not lactose intolerant. Is I'm not that crazy about know bread. We have no examples. I'm not an Arab. Sources from the time of the name does not appear. A Northman. So what can this name tell us about who made these? I don't particularly like grains at all, actually. The fact that not even oats. Over a, a bunch of oats and means they couldn't they just get the shit. Single Rough age. Seems to be Frankish. Fiber. And the signature holds an important clue. But if you just keep moving, a small cross in front of the name. eventually you get so that you can just keep moving. Not put a cross in front of their name. During the Middle Ages, the Roman so you Catholic do? Church dominated the Frankish And of course, I do it quite a few times a day, you know. I'm just going to uh, enemy get up and start Christ. doing it. The then I'll go back to the computer and do some more business. And, and arms dealer. Just do it again. The green cross before a so I don't really get set special hour or two aside. Not like when I was a young guy. I used to do that, you know. I had a workout and it was a set amount of time or I would just work out. And uh, now it's more sporadic. I, uh, I already went around the block, did three miles this morning. And then somehow smuggled north. Now I'm just moving my body. Eventually I'll be able to move my body. You know? Since it was forbidden to trade with the Scandinavians. If people in the church did make the swords, it begs the question how they got the crimson steel. That's all you gotta steel. do. Many experts just keep moving. It was brought by the Vikings from Central Asia you have to kill yourself. the Middle East. You know, you don't really so have to the lift great big heavy weights. Though I do, I do work out with springs and I've got my weights. There are lots of reasons why the Scandinavian might have used a foreign word and um, used... It doesn't have to look like much, you know. It might but, have been uh, magic. It might have been it helps. copying symbols from the disappeared Roman Empire. It might have been simply because somebody thought they liked the name, like putting the name Anyhow, on a I'll computer. Uh, cut this off now and uh, possible be talking to you again in a minute, but I don't think you have to Frankish watch name you know, of me just walking and moving and stuff like that for an hour or so. But uh, it's important. Just keep moving. <laughs> I, I wonder who he was. Or rather who they were. It makes were. you feel better.
After I came back from the uh, little jog around the block there this morning, you know, I'm all fresh. It was minus seven degrees. So it, it was cool. I felt really great when I got back. That's all you got to keep on doing. Eventually you get so you can do it for a long period of time. Okay. Anyhow, talk to you in a minute. Okay, so got some springs here on the wall, you know. As I walk down the hall, sometimes I'll just stop and start uh, pushing the springs. I may grab my hair, of course. <laughs> Anyhow, this is what you do, you know. You don't have to go to a big fancy gym or any other thing. You just have to do it. That will make you stronger. And when you get stronger, you'll be able to hold that bow on even better. That's all it takes. Okay, I'm going to keep on going down to the kitchen. Anyhow, see you later. Okay, so I'm walking back down the hall. So you got to do, you know? And every time I go by, I can do it again. By the end of the day, I've done it quite a few times. That's how you work out, you know. If you don't have a gym, you don't have to have a, a gym clothes and special shoes and join the club and all that kind of stuff. What you gotta do is just grab the stuff and do it. It doesn't have to be a special time, but you have to have the mind, the mind to do it. That's what it takes. That's right, Ken. They say the benefits are great. Anyhow, I'll talk to you later. Right now. Gonna do some silly. You don't need a big gym. All you gotta do is get down and do them. That's all you got to do. You know, make sure you do them. That's all. It doesn't take a million bucks. You don't have to have special clothes. You know, you don't have to put it off and put it off. Just get down and do them. So that's all you gotta do, you know. Uh, there, I just did 10 out of time. You know, we'll get down and I'll do some more. And uh, sometimes I'll do 20, sometimes I'll do 30 at a time. Just like last night, you know, I did 110 sit ups all together. Okay, talk to you later. Okay, now, my friends, so we'll just get rid of our hard hat and talk a little bit how we're going to get warmed up so what I do is I incorporate uh, in the winter time I incorporate shooting my bow into my regular routine so the regular routine has been uh, doing some sit-ups and using the springs and things like that well now it's uh, about nine o'clock at night it's uh, dark outside it's minus seven and uh, I'm just going to hang out here in the armory and you just get warmed up. So before I shoot my bow, I'll emphasize, even though I do exercises uh, regularly, I always warm up. And really, that really does mean that I'll do, you know, 
20 of these, right? And I'll do, I've got a table here, so I'll just sort of do some light push-ups off the table, you know, or around 10. The big deal, I think, is doing shoulder shrugs, because that's really where the back muscles are, and you use them a lot when you're doing archery. So shrugs are really, really good. And then I'll also do 20 of these where I gently go back and forth with my neck, warming up the neck muscles, and I'll do the nod. Also, 20 of these. And then I'll just simply gently pull my shoulders back, expand my chest. And uh, then I'll pick up the bow, you know? And I'll just sort of gently draw. And I'll just hold it for a second or two, you know, and uh, just like that, not all the way, really gentle. And when I get it back to around my chin, then I'll just sort of uh, repeat those same exercises. So again, I'll do 20 of these, 20 of those, 20 of those, and 20 of those, and... Ten of these, and ten of these, and then I'll pick up the bow and I'll draw it again. And after I do that a couple of times, or three times, uh, the bow becomes light, and that's what I always do is warm up. And then I'll uh, shoot my bow. And in the evenings here, I really only shoot seventy-two shots. You know, uh, uh, twelve sets of six, have six arrows. And that's enough. Uh, it's only thirteen yards, but it's good enough to, for training purposes. So anyhow, I'll be back in a minute. We'll talk some more. Okay, bye now.